chicken stew. And here we have all of our beautiful ingredients ready and prepped. And we went to the fresh, <laughs> the market, the market, the farmer's market, and it ha had a lot of fre a beautiful vegetables, and it's all organic and fresh. Yes, so let's tell everyone what the names of these Beautiful, great vegetables are. First, let's start off with this beautiful kale. It's um in the family of cabbage. Also have some um, orange and yellow carrots here. We've got some scallions, or some people call it green onions. Then we've got some beautiful bright red organic, just great smelling tomatoes here. You've got some cilantro and some onions. Now, Mia, we'll meet you back when Mia will be getting ready to season up our chicken breasts here. Okay, so now Mia will get um, our chicken breast ready and seasoned up with our special seasonings that will make this chicken pop. So, Mia, can you please Okay, this is garlic. Can you dump that in for me? Roasted garlic, actually. And you know, roasted garlic, when it gets roasted, you don't get that strong flavor that crawls into your nose and makes you sneeze a bunch. And it actually makes it more sweet, you know? Okay, next ingredient. That is our seasoning mix there, blend. Yes, and that is a bunch of seasonings mixed all in one. And then that is thyme. Mmm, thyme. Okay, and now let's add some oh. oregano. Thank you. Oregano, oregano. Yes. And we're just going to, whoa. Okay, that's good. Thanks. And now we're going to add some soy sauce for you. And you're good. You can, yeah, go around like circular to make you know the flavor sinking in different spots, not just flat in the middle. Okay, so now we're going to mix it up. Mia, can you mix it up, please, for us here? Mmm, looks so good, and, and it smells that, good too. And hear that sound? Yeah, yeah. it's so juicy because. It's making that, making that. And actually, I'm going to help her by reaching in my hands, just getting those flavors together too, because as you can see, it's full of the seasoning, and you want that to get spread, it, spread, you know, around the bowl. And as it's getting mixed up, Nia, what she's doing here is she's mixing the soy sauce into all the chicken, while I'm mixing all the spices here into the chicken. This just smells fabulous. So, as you know, or maybe you don't, after handling any kind of poultry, like chicken or beef, you have to wash your hands with warm or hot water and soap for at least 20 seconds. And, you have to hold the, the, the bowl nice and tight. Any kind of with anything in it. You have to hold the bowl nice and sturdy so it's strong so it can't fall on the ground and you'll be terrified. Just okay, so now this. I'm done washing my hands and I'm just here going to dry that off 
easily. Okay, so now the rest of this recipe is the stove. So, when we're coming back, we'll be at the stove and getting everything cooking. So now we're at our stove yep. and we have our um, stove on a medium high heat. So, and please be careful with this stove. I mean, it's on medium high heat. So now we're gonna just coat this with some grape seed oil. Um, just coat the bottom of this pan and we're using a deeper pan because so many ingredients that we're using we don't want it to be too cramped. So, we're gonna just coat the bottom. Okay. Now, we're going to add some butter. And so, actually, just do it like that. Carefully put it in. As you can see, it's sizzling up, and it's going together, like that. And so we're gonna make the butter melt, right? And then, we're going to Add our chicken here, and we're at it. So we're going to stir this up here, just so it can get all together, the butter. Oh, and if it's boiling, and, and if you have little kids, and please back up, because it might hurt you or sting you. So now, whoa, stopped. So now, we're going to add our chicken very carefully because we don't exactly want the stove to burn you. Perfect. I think we have to do it at a perfect place. And now we're just going to stir this up here. And oh, we're going to make this um, simmer and cook for two minutes. So, then we'll see you back and then we will, we will add the seasoning. I'm going to add our second batch of seasonings, second layer of seasonings. So here we have, as you know, our scallions and green or green onions. Then we have onions and then we have some tomatoes and some cilantro. And we're going to open this up here. Perfect. We're going to, and we're going to be careful. Okay, be careful. Because, you know, you don't want anything to pop up on you or anything. So we're just going to stir this up just a bit to make sure it's good and getting cooking. Mmm, look at it. It just looks so delicious. And you want to just mix this up. It smells mm, so delicious. And you know that soy sauce that adds that Asian kind of smell. So now we are going to add our second layer of seasonings. So first, let's add all of our scallions. Ooh, scallions. They're so healthy, so fresh, yet. so organic, yet. so delicious. Like so now that we have all of our scallions, we're just going to leave it there, right there. Scallions. Now we're going to add some onions. Jeez, oh. please don't make me cry. It makes me cry, but I still like it. It's very flavorful. So now that we've got all of our onions in, look at it. It's becoming a masterpiece. Now we're going to add some of our red tomatoes. Ooh, tomatoes. They're so juicy, organic, fresh, and in season. <laughs> and season. Now, we're going to add just a handful of this. Not all of it, because that's going to be at the end. So we're just going to sprinkle that on. And I like sprinkling cilantro because it looks pretty. I can't dump in cilantro for some reason. And now, we're just going to mix it. Well, cilantro, it's... Green? Green means, like, different colors. They're delicious. And that means they're good and healthy. But white stuff, leaves are not healthy. Except our onions here. And it's getting mixed in great. And what Mia was saying about green, aren't recycle bins green? Like, 
Green is amazing. Green is the goddess. So now we're going to let this simmer for 15 minutes and then we will add our veggies, our last veggies, and then we will have our finished product. So it's been 15 minutes and now we have our final two ingredients, which is a kale and our yellow and orange carrots. So, it just looks so beautiful and I want to try it. So, Mia, please, I want you to try it too. Let's get the yellow and orange one. Mmm, this is good and it's raw. Speaking of raw foods, we've been eating a lot of raw foods and I want you guys to stay tuned for more raw food shows for Kids Can Cook. And you know what? See, on raw foods, when you have raw foods, all the nutrients are there. But when you cook them, some of the nutrients go away. If you cook them all the way through, they're all gone. And it's not, you know, that much of a great profit. So, today we are going to, you know, cook it. So now we're going to add our carrots in. So here, and we're just going to make that um, simmer and cook for about five minutes. Mm, this is looking good. And then we're going to add the kale, and then we're going to, and the rest of our cilantro, and then we're just gonna wrap this thing up with some brown rice too. Okay, so now this is all simmered here, and as you can see, it's really beautiful. Now, we have our remaining um, ingredients, still the kale, and the remainings of our cilantro. So I'll just add the cilantro here, and once again, I love sprinkling cilantro. Look how messy it looks when I dump it. There we go, all of our cilantro, and here's our kale. You think this is a lot, but it'll sink and wilt, you know? So, here we are, going in the pot, gonna look good, great. Now, we're going to let this simmer some more. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. our brown rice to get cooked up and after that's ready then we will have our finished product and we'll taste it and we'll tell you how good it is. Okay and now we finally have our great looking mm, delicious mm, herb and vegetable chicken stew. Finally finished with the, this buttery, oh, just so delicious brown rice. And we use brown rice because white rice is not as healthy as brown rice. And I think it's just really good. So let's see what Nia thinks about this. Well, first I had to try it. Mmm! Mmm! I'm sorry. Mmm! -mm. He's Chuck, and he's always finding new ways to stay passionate. Okay. Yeah. The bird. Yeah. Fresh. Yeah. Organic. Yeah. Twelve in it. Yeah. Very good. It's good. So I'm just gonna try this chicken now. Mm. Mm. Thank you for watching. And this is Kids Can Cook signing out. Best wishes and dishes. Oh, and I'm Nia. And I'm Haley. And please remember, if you don't do this, your food will not come out right. Put the love in it. Yeah, feel the love.